Welcome to the Great Exodus series. My name is Michael. I am the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Pass Movement Foundation. <clears throat> this, what we are proclaiming here under the Great Exodus series, is God's plan of rescue for His children. Let my people go, the path to Mount Zion. And today our topic is, together we can change the world. What do I mean with that? Together we can change the world. First, we have to lay a foundation. What kind of people can change this world? Do you feel empathy and compassion with people who have lost everything? With people who are suffering? With people who are in need? With a Lazarus at your gates? Do you feel compassion with people who are crying, who are going through a bad time? Do you want to go to them and lift them up and show them the love of the Father and show them the way to a new life? Or are you belonging to the people who only care for themselves, who care for their careers, their businesses, and don't even care if they destroy other lives? only to reach the top. Are you such a cold-hearted businessman or a career man or woman that does not care about their neighbors, does not care about other people, who could care less about the news that you see daily on TV where people are suffering, where houses are washed away, existences reduced to ashes, are you a person that then say, oh, it's not me, I'm a lucky one, I'm a career person, I work for my money, I do not need any help. Or are you the one who says, yes, there, if I had the chance, I would go there and help them and lift them up because I feel with them. I went through such a time myself and somebody helped me. Now it's the time for me to go and lift up the needy the nameless and the faceless in this world. If you have that foundation of love and compassion, then you are the right person to walk with me and with all the other Rosarians on that path to Mount Zion and to change the world. Give me just a few of you who feel the compassion and the need to change something and we can turn the world upside down. Because we will bring the love of the Father for all of his creation into the world. A world that is so filthy, a world that is so bad and dark. You cannot even imagine. If you just put on your TV, you see it from minute to minute to minute. If it's advertisement, if it's movie, it is whatever it is, talk shows, just only filth and sin. I feel so sorry for many, many people who suffer in this world because suffering should not be there. There's enough wealth and enough money in this world so that everybody can live a medium life size. But only because there are a few greedy ones who must be in the list of Forbes for the richest person or who have as 1% of the population 95% of the property. This is a thing that we have allowed. This is a thing that we have agreed to. In our own personal greed. Because I have told you, yes, if you agree to this one and if you work hard in our beast system, then you will become rich. And all this were lies. Only a few initiators became rich. And all the others are suffering. So now, if you are filled with the love of the Father of Yahweh, and the will to advance the heavenly kingdom, then you can change the situation. You can set the people free from this bondage and slavery to the world and to Babylon. By the way, Babylon is the, the, our false churches, our false religions, our false denomination, and all of our false doctrines. If they are 
once saved, always saved, or if they are gospel of prosperity, or if they are gospel of poverty, no matter what. They are all guiding you into slumber, instead to wake you up and step onto that path to Mount Zion, and do the righteous deeds of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Was he sitting and waiting for the Father to lift him up? No. He was standing up every morning to spread the gospel, to go out, to lift up the needy, to raise the dead, to heal the sick, to go for the lost sheep. He was not waiting because he was saved through the Father. Of course not. And so with us, we should not wait and sit in the church benches, listen to false teachers, listen to false YouTube channels who say you just have to wait because everything was paid for you. You have nothing to do than just to wait. How can that be possible? Then why did the apostles not sit and wait at the Sea of Tiberias? But the Lord came and told them, now it's your time to step out into the world. Now is your time to move forward. Now is your time to show forth what you have learned. They could have just sat there and waited for the return of Jesus, but they didn't. Why? Because they did not understand the once saved, always saved concept. Sometimes I wonder from where these people are getting their information. Picking Bible verses and twist them and mend them for their own personal agenda. Because they're just, I must say it, they're just too lazy to go into the nations and do the righteous deeds. They're just so lazy to advance the kingdom. They just want to see and get everything for free. I can hear them already shouting, no, everything in the kingdom must be free, 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 free. If you have such a mentality, do you really believe that you are part of the bride? Do you really believe that you will be part in the rapture and that you will enter heaven without having done anything? You have a typical worldly agenda, typical worldly motive. Everything must be free and you must receive all, 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 all for doing nothing. And this is nothing that Jesus has ever preached. He himself went out every day to the multitudes and preached to them. He went out every day to do the righteous deeds. Every day, wherever he met people, either possessed by demons or sick or whatever, he raised the dead, he healed the sick, and he sent out the demons from the people. He went for the lost sheep every day, even in the darkest places. He went to the money exchangers and to the people who collected money at the borders and whatever. He went to all of them, to the drunkards, to the darkest corners, to get the lost sheep out. And for what? For himself? Of course not. For the Father, because he was filled with logos, with divine reason. He was filled with the love of the Father for the creation. And that's the reason why he went forth and made his teaching to win the souls for the heavenly kingdom. But you, you are sitting, you are doing nothing. You are shouting false doctrines into the world to help the enemy so that the people are remain seated instead to stand up and to change this world, to become a heavenly kingdom and not a worldly beastly system that we have now. I don't know what will happen to you. I am not your judge. The Lord is the judge and he will judge your heart, what your intention was. It is possible that you are just misguided by other people. It is possible that you have not received understanding. That is possible. But some of you, I know, you are doing it on purpose either to shine forth into this world as some special one, or because you are a helper of the enemy side. I know my words will not change anything on your side. You will never accept what I'm saying, because you're already so much infiltrated and doctrinated by false teachers, by the false church. 
Why do you think there are seven churches in the book of Revelation? Because the churches have gone astray from the straight path. They are not walking the path to Mount Zion. They have gone to the right or to the left. Or even underground, what is the worst? Some churches have really gone all the way <coughs> to Hades and death. There is nothing holy anymore in them. So you have to come out of Babylon. <coughs> Set yourself free from such doctrines. Just copy and do what Jesus has done. Don't even enter discussions about what has Paul said and what has Peter said and what can you eat and what can you not eat and what day is this and what day is that. Go into the Bible, see what Jesus has done and follow his path. Take your course and walk his path. And then you cannot fail. Go forth the love of the Father to all people and to all of his creation. But if you do not have compassion and love for your own brethren and your own brothers and sisters in Christ and you have to start to fight them and you have to start to call out names and to tell them something bad all the time and that about Bible verses, about something that is written in the Holy Scriptures and what kind of people are you? Today I saw a video where somebody says, if something will not happen this week, then I will call them all out. And this person calls him a pastor? Hmm. From where are they getting these names and titles? Prophets, pastors, and they're all from the other side, from the enemy camp. I wonder. This world is a world of titles, a world of honors, a world of greatness. But we, who are seeking the heavenly kingdom, we don't need titles. We don't need worldly honors. And we remain meek and humble. We have to separate ourselves from such behavior. We have to separate ourselves from the world and from Babylon and walk that path to Mount Zion, that straight and narrow path, the middle path. The middle path of the glory of the Father path that Jesus walked to show us his great example that we have to follow, that the apostles followed. That's the reason why they received the Logos, the Helper, the Holy Spirit to give them the power to walk that path. And they did it even until they gave their, their lives for the heavenly kingdom. Are you willing to give your own life? All these people who are doing these things on YouTube, none of them would give their lives. They say, yes, I would, I would, but when the time will come, <laughs> I know. There is no conviction, there are only words. So please, do not listen to them. Do not waste your resources that are planned for the, the heavenly kingdom, for advancing the kingdom on such false teachers, who are doing that for their own glory and purpose. People that you see in the highest and greatest format on their videos because they have to see, show their faces. That is more important than the message. They cannot stay in a small, like what we did do in a small corner. They have to fill the whole video with their faces to show forth that they are holy. But in reality, they are naked and wretched and nothing is holy about them. So if you feel compassion for the needy, for the suffering, and your heart is yearning to help them and to lift them up, to bring forth the nameless and faceless, then we together can change this world and we can turn this world upside down. I know we will get the wrath of the Antichrist against us, because the time is at hand of the seals. This is the time of the Antichrist. But the Lord and God the Father, Yahweh, will protect us. He will put us under his wings. But only if you are outside of the world and outside of Babylon. Yes, we still live in the world because we are not dead yet, not raptured yet. 
So we are in the world, but we are not of the world. Many people use this, this, these words and say, oh, we are in the world, but not of the world. But in reality, they are going back to their jobs, to their careers, to their daily life, to their families, and that's all world, world, world. And they are not totally out of the world. They just use this phrase to show what they have done. In reality, they have done nothing. They are like the Pharisees who are standing in front of the synagogues and churches and say what good they have done. But in reality, there is nothing. But we, we stay at the end, at the entrance behind. Nobody will see us. But we will do and we will act. We will come forth. We will lift up and we will gather not only the harvest, but we will gather all of his creation and we will restore all things to its former glory in the spirit of Elijah. By taking our cross and walking the path that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has shown for us. So join me in Triple Grace. Sign up. It's all for free. Because if you would charge something or ask for a donation to join, <laughs> nobody would come. Because you're all, I tell you, you're all so much indoctrinated and infiltrated by this world, saying that everything that the word of the Lord must be free, 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 free. So, and it goes so far that people even say, there's no tithing, there's no donation, there's, there should be no help. The Father will help these people to bring it forth. Are they really listening to themselves, such people? Are they listening to what they are saying there? Is it not that the brothers and sisters should come together to support one another and to bring forth the good works? The righteous deeds of the saints, because the righteous deeds of the saints will bring you the white clothes that you need to enter paradise and to enter heaven. You only are afraid. You are afraid to use your wealth that, by the way, is given to you as a loan from the Lord to use it to advance the kingdom. You are afraid to use even one dollar to bring forth such missions into the nations. You are afraid. Because you are infiltrated by others. But then you go and spend thousands of dollars to the preachers of prosperity. Because they promise you when you do that, you become tenfold. Is that not greed? Listen to yourself. Listen to what you have said on YouTube. Listen to what you are saying every day. And see if it's not what I'm saying right now. That you're naked. There's no love and no compassion in your heart. You are not even interested in lifting up the needy or seeking out the lost sheep or the nameless and faceless. Everything what you do is only for yourself, the world, the greed, your careers, your faith and your worldly honors. And I am ashamed to, of such brothers and sisters that they then use the name of faith of salvation, of glory, in the name of the Father in their mouth, when they have nothing to do with the heavenly kingdom. So go inside you and see if you feel compassion and love for your neighbors and your brothers. Pray over my words. See if you need to change your direction. See if you have a full understanding. See. Seek the Father, seek Jesus Christ. Find out the truth. This was our daily word for the daily topic in our Great Exodus series. My name is Michael and I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Pass Movement Foundation. I'm not picking out on special people and I would never do that. 
I would talk to them face to face maybe, but not in the public, because there's nothing worth it. We are, we, are not, we are not judges. The Father will judge, and he will judge your heart. And no matter what you think in your mind, your heart will show it for us. If it was true, if it was good, if, or if it was bad and evil. I hope you liked our topic today, and I hope that I will see you again tomorrow. Please share these videos with your friends and family and through social media, that people will wake up and come out of the world and out of Babylon, because the world and Babylon will be soon taken over by the Antichrist. And if you do not come out of it, you will either take the mark of the beast, or you will die as a martyr. But if you will come out of the world and out of Babylon, you can walk that path to Mount Zion, and you can reach it alive, and then you will be ruptured into paradise. Your choice, the choice between life and death. Choose wisely. May God bless you and your family abundantly. I will see you again tomorrow. Maranatha.